our interest in muscle composition comes from partly from this study on differential changes in muscle composition after uh, traumatic and non-traumatic uh, neck pain by Elliot et al. from 2013. And if we kind of first understand what's happening, they took a sample, a fairly large sample, including over 136 uh, participants, and they divided them into a, a, a whiplash associated disorder group and, and an idiopathic neck pain group, which is most uh, people. And then they looked at their, uh, they took MRIs of their, of their neck, and you can see here's an example of the MRI, and then they circled the different muscles. And this would be an example of the uh, semispinalis capitis here, um, uh, cervices, and uh, multifidi muscles. And then they, they looked at, um, basically here you can see they're, they're doing an analysis which looks at both the size of the muscle, but also how much fat is inside uh, that muscle. And you compare the two images, you see this difference in the, the histogram here on the bottom. And essentially what's happening is they have, they have you can see here's the grayscale where there's dark here to the left and white to the right. There's some uh, uh, white in the signal, but there's also a lot of dark in this left-sided MRI. But when you look at the MRI over here to the right, you can see all this white and that's portrayed here in the histogram where you can see it's shifted to the right, which means there's more white signal in that um, uh, muscle. And so that indicates that there's, there's more fat or non-contractile um, tissue in the muscle um, area. Uh, and so what they were able to conclude is that, and we can see that here at the end, uh, their key points, um, we look at their key points here. The observations of increased muscle fatty infiltration and cross-section have been reported in the dorsal and ventral muscles of the cervical spine in participants with whiplash-associated disorder, but not in those with non-traumatic um, idiopathic neck pain and controls. So, so this motivated people to, to look at uh, muscle rehabilitation and testing muscle function uh, post um, whiplash associated disorder and also a non-traumatic uh, neck pain. So this study by uh, Schumacher uh, and his colleagues is a good example of how people are looking at how to test for the um, cervical muscles to see if they're involved in either idiopathic neck pain or whiplash associated disorder. In this study, uh, Schumacher evaluated the effect of three different ways of applying resistance um, to the neck extensor muscles uh, on the EMG activity of the splenius capitis and the semispinal surfaces. So here we see the first condition where the resistance is being applied to the occiput, the second test where the resistance is being applied to C2 and the third test where resistance is being applied to C5. The hypothesis was that when the resistance was applied at C2 or lower, there would be selective activation of the semispinalis services. This diagram shows the biomechanics of the three tests used in the study by Schammacher. The first is resistance at the occiput, the second is resistance at C2, and the third is resistance at C5. In each diagram, we see the vertebrae and axis of rotation depicted in the lower cervical spine. So we count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so eight, so uh, T1. And then we have three muscles represented, the semispinalis capitis, which is labeled in this picture, the semispinal services here is running from thorax to C2, and then uh, a muscle representative of this services attachments of the other erector spiny muscles, the longissimus services, um, iliocostal services, which is running to uh, the other vertebrae. And then we see the, the resistance point here on the occiput into flexion 
so with its respective moment arm to T1. And then we see the second uh, place that resistance is applied at C2 and its moment arm to T1. And the third place that resistance is applied in its moment arm to T1. Uh, lift with uh, yeah. lead with your your upper cervical. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Really cool. So keep your chin by. There you go. That's awesome. It's nice because it has numbers. You see the difference.